Hi guys, my name is Simka Yukiko with and welcome back to a new video. Today I have another wrap up slash TBR video for you from the months March wrap up and April TBR. Wow, months are not my greatest point. Um, so I have quite some books that I'm going to talk about today, so let's just get to it. <laughs> Unlike most of my videos, I did prepare this one because um, it's actually already like the 10th of April or something and I literally forgot everything I wanted to say about the books that I read in March. So let's go. The first book I read is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett, which I have mentioned in like all of my previous videos. If you see my last wrap up such TBR, then you know that I was almost finished with this one already when I filmed that. So it's been a while since I read this one and I actually did talk about it um, in my reading vlog and my last wrap up slash tbr so i'll just be quick with this one overall i think this was a pretty good book and really fun to read however this is a children's book and i don't think it's the most fun children's book i've ever read um with that i mean that it's not as interesting for people who are a little older <laughs> and like for example in my last video I compared it to Little Women by Louisa May Alcott or Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery which is literally so fun for every age. Um, those are also children's classics but they're fun for literally all ages and I think even though I enjoyed reading this this wasn't something that I will remember for the rest of my life but it was definitely a sweet little book so that's that one. Next book I finished was Monsieur and Madame Curie by Evie Go and Again, here I am, again, with my French books. Um, I just try to read a couple of French books a month, but just so I can keep up a little with French, because I really love reading books in their original language. But I'm only fluent in Dutch and English, so yeah, um, I, my French is pretty good, as I understand, like all of these books, but I don't think my French is classics ready, if you know what I mean, so for... So until it is, I'm just reading these kind of books. I don't have a lot to say about it. This is about uh, Marie Curie and her husband, so very fun. The next book I read is a literal masterpiece. I already spoiled it, but it is Beloved by Toni Morrison. Whoa, by Toni Morrison. Wow. This book, this tells such an important story about a woman named Seed and her experience as a black woman and everything she's been through. It's so... wow. I can't properly explain what this is about because it's so amazing and I don't really know how to talk about this book because it was really really good. I would recommend everyone to read this book, it's so good, but I do need to know that the narrative perspective keeps on changing and it happens very unannounced, like suddenly it's just a different perspective and sometimes I can make it a little difficult um, also because it's not told in a chronological order um, the story you like follow seed during present day but then from like things they remember or whatever you also learn their past so it's not chronological but that's what made this even more magnificent like this book it's it's like amazingly written but it's also an amazing story so I think this is just um, incredible and everyone should definitely read this book. Next I have The Warden by Anthony Trollope. This tells the story of Reverend Harding who is a warden to some almshouse. I don't remember what almshouse, whatever. It's not real, it doesn't exist obviously. But um, he has been receiving money for years that he actually didn't deserve to receive, but he didn't know that. Um, so when a guy named John Bold comes up and is like, you don't deserve to get that money, he's like in shock and he, he's a very good man and he feels very guilty and he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't like people thinking bad of him either. So he's kind of in a moral dilemma. And that's basically the story. So it's a very simple story. There's like a slight romance going on between John Bold and Reverend Harding's daughter Ele Eleanor, but it's nothing big. And story-wise, it's not like the best novel, but what I loved so much about this was the writing style. It has magnificent writing. Like it's I love it so much. So Anthony Trollope writes in a way that he, you feel like he's talking to you. He's not just explaining his story, he's actually talking to you. And I have dog-eared some pages um, where that comes through to show you what I mean. 
no spoilers, just some sentences. Um, so here he is telling, he was telling something and then he said, what had passed between Eleanor Harding and Mary Bold need not be told. It is indeed a matter of thankfulness that neither the historian nor the novelist hears all that is said by their heroes or heroines. And that, things like that, like he's really talking as a storyteller, which is so cool to me. But other than that, also just the craft of making sentences, like here, this is a sentence I really loved. The idea opens a view into the very world in which we wish to live. Like, it's sentences like that, and the way this is written, that really makes me realize why I love language and why I want to study the English language, because it's so amazing, and I think... Oh, it's this book is so good. I was literally laughing out loud while reading this book more from the way it was written than the story itself because it's not like a funny story but the way it's written is just so humorous and so fun to read and it's just a fun quick little book and that was made so clear in this book as well that that was the point of Anthony Trollope to write a short book that's not too long but just fun to read and that definitely was this and if you love the English language you really need to read this because it's a masterpiece and I cannot wait to read more by Anthony Trollope because it's really amazing and then the last book I read in March was Tristan Tristan that was very English uh, Tristan et Iseut this is another one of those French books I will be very quick about this. This was a little bit longer than the last French book. This is basically a medieval love story based on a Celtic legend, at least that's what I saw on the internet, um, and it is about Tristan who goes to Ireland to ask the hand of the princess Isolde for his uncle King Mark. Don't ask me what he's the king of, I forgot. Whatever, he's the king of something. Um, but then and then she says yes. So on their way to the kingdom of King Mark, Tristan and Isolde, they fall in love with each other by drinking a love potion that Isolde's mother made for her and King Mark so that she would live a happy, loving life with him. But then they drink it and not King Mark, which is why they fall in love. And that's the basic storyline and a lot of things happen because obviously that's not okay. I don't have a lot to say about this. That's what this was about. That was the last book I read in March. <laughs> now it's time for the April TBR. Now I do have to say I actually have already read and finished one book in April. Um, normally I film these like really the last day of the month and then I literally haven't read anything yet for the next month but it's currently like the 10th of April and I've already finished the book but I'm just gonna talk about it as if I hadn't read it yet. So the first book that I wanted to read in April is Persuasion by Jane Austen. This book is about Anne Elliot and her gang, you know how that goes in Jane Austen novels, her family, connections, whatever, friend group, whatever. Um, but Anne Elliot, I think eight years ago, like this is the present, and then like eight years before the story in this book happened, um, she was engaged to Captain Wentworth, but her father, <laughs> but her father and close friend slash sort of mother figure, um, Lady, I forgot her name, Lady something. L Russell? Lady Russell? I think. Whatever. Lady Russell. Let's just say it's Lady Russell. Um, they disagree, they disapprove of the engagement, so she breaks it off on their account. And then in the present, so this story in this book talks about their meeting again and their group being interwined and a lot of happens and they obviously were engaged so it's kind of awkward because now they're not and he's kind of mad about that and Anne is like oh my god maybe I still love him and it's just a typical Jane Austen novel but that's one that I have already read but <laughs> not gonna talk about what I thought of it yet. I'll keep you waiting for that until my April wrap up so if you want to see that stay tuned. And the next book that I want to read, I'm actually already reading and already almost finished, but that is um, Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. So uh, 
A couple of weeks ago I read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland which I really really loved and I felt like now was about the time to read Through the Looking Glass and I've been really enjoying it so far. Um, this is obviously just Alice and more of her adventures and it's so fun. Again, I love the drawings. They're so cute. Oh, I love them so much. I really really like this edition. This is like the Penguin um, classic, like black classic edition and it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. There's also a lot of introduction. It's not that long actually. The actual book is like, it's only this part of the book so it's not this much but yeah I'm excited. The next book I haven't started yet so this is an actual TBR. Um, next book is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Now I don't really know what this is about even though I've seen the movie but I kind of forgot what it's about. So my best friend um, she really loves the movie and at first I was like no I'm not gonna watch the movie I want to read the book first you know but then I was persuaded to watch it. Anyways I was like you know, I don't know when I will read the book, so I had, I could also just watch the movie, like, who cares? Uh, and then I watched the movie, I remember really liking it, but <laughs> I don't really know what it's about anymore. I know it's about Jay Gatsby, who nobody really knows, and he organizes parties in the Roaring Twenties somewhere, and I mean, what's a more fun book to read than a book about parties in the Roaring Twenties during this not-so-roaring Twenties of the 21st century in which we can't even go to parties. So, logical mindset, right? I know. Truly couldn't tell you anything more about this. It is really short, but I am planning on making a reading, reading vlog just dedicated to this. So, if I end up doing that, I say if because I don't know if I will, but if I will, then you will see it on my channel sometime soon. So stick around if you want to see that as well because yeah I don't know for some reason I just thought it would be fun to vlog my experience reading this book as I'm really in a like 20s mood and yeah I'm excited to read this. Next book I want to read is The Diary of Anne Frank. Honestly I kind of didn't know what I wanted to read after The Great Gatsby because I'm kind of a mood reader I just go along like I make these TBRs but most of the times I don't end up reading the books on my TBR and just I end up reading different books but anyways I thought maybe this book would be nice to read, fun to read, fun is so not the right word for this um interesting interesting because obviously I've had this on my shelf for quite a while but I've never really gotten to it which is really a shame actually because it's such a classic and I really should get around to it. I'm very excited to read this as I think the whole world has read it and I haven't so I should. Um, and I'm excited, yes. Sorry that my explanations are getting like worse. <laughs> um, in the beginning of the video they were okay but every book my explanation just gets worse and worse and worse. Anyways, the last book I want to read is not very important. It's one of those French ones as well. Um, it is Louis Braille, L'Enfant de la Nuit. So this is a book about Louis Braille. I'm curious to read this. Not much to say about this, not very interesting. I have no idea what this is about, so that was that. I'm so sorry for this chaotic video. I feel like my wrap-up and TBRs are always so chaotic. But thank you so much for watching my video. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay reading, and I'll see you next time. Bye!